All right, so let's look at this uh, sketching compare fractions, home connection for Bridges Math, fourth grade. And first we're looking at um, sketching fractions equivalent to two thirds. So your two thirds part is going to stay the same, but we need to cut these pieces into smaller pieces. So maybe I'll do, for example, fourths. So to do a fourth, I do half, then I cut my halves into half. And I'm going to do that for each of these thirds. And then that's what I'm going to have. So it looks like I now have uh, eight twelfths. And then what do you want to do with this one? Maybe cut it into halves, or maybe if I cut mine into thirds, I could do it like that. Up to you how you want to do that one. And then you're doing the same thing for three fourths. So maybe this time I'll try thirds. So I'm going to cut each piece into thirds, which I'll do roughly. And then what do I have here? I now have um, twelfths. And how many of my twelfths are filled in? And then choose what you want to do for part B as well. And now it's saying um, rewrite two thirds and three fourths with a common denominator. So I kind of cheated already because I did those for you with twelfths, right? So if I put twelfths here, we already did that one, right? There it is. And that's what it's going to look like in twelfths. And your common denominator here is also twelfths, which we already did. If you didn't know from the model how to do this, you can just multiply, right? Three fourths times what is going to give you twelfths? How do you get twelfths? Well, you multiply by uh, three thirds because four times three is twelve. Okay, then um, how are we going to compare these? So they're not equal. So how would you compare them? What goes there? And I guess you could do the other way around for your other statement to compare those two numbers. So what <clears throat> is going to go there and there? And just look up to see which one's bigger, or look at your 12s to figure that out. Let's look at the back side now. And we're kind of doing the same thing. So maybe I'll keep this uh, easy. I'll slash this into uh, half, which is going to give me eighths. And how many eighths do I have? And so on. And then uh, you'll do tenths, three tenths. And now we need a common denominator of one fourth and three tenths. So the more you practice this, the easier it's going to get. But I know that 20 is a common denominator. And 4 times what is going to give me 20? It's going to be 5. So this is going to be 5 twentieths. And then what times 3 is going to give you 20, or times 10 is going to give you 20 -ths, And that's going to tell you what goes there. And then you can compare them again with those symbols and maybe just do it both ways okay and then we're just doing this now without models to help us so first things first what's a common denominator well here's some multiples of six have multiples of eight and there i have my common denominator of 24. <clears throat> so let me zoom in here and using 24 i'll follow this pattern Okay, so let's go through this one together. So 2 6 times what is going to get us into 24? Well, 6 times 4 is 24. So that gets, makes that one 8 24. And here we have 8s into 24. So I'm going to cut those 8s into 3 pieces because 8 times 3 is 24. And that gives me 9 24. So again, to follow this pattern, we have. 8 24 is less than 9 24 So, what were my original numbers? 2, 6, and continue, something. And my, my other original one goes here. Then let's look at the one last one. Or no, two more. So, first things first, can you get a common denominator for 6 and 4? You could use 24, but there's actually a smaller one. If you just think about it quickly, you'll know 12 is a common denominator. 
So just follow that pattern that we just did, and you'll know first this one's going to be two halves, right? And then I'm going to let you figure out this one, and then you compare them just like we did over here. And I think the challenge you can handle on your own too. So that is your homework, sketch and compare fractions, and thank you.